Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part three of the build of the Lego Technic Mercedes-Benz A-Rox 3245. So this is kind of where we're at so far. We've got some front steering going on. Of course we have our motor engine type element, but we're going to keep on moving on because <clears throat> we've already seen most of everything in the previous videos. You can check it out. Links down below if you want to see those previous portions. So what we're doing now is attaching the suspension element to the main chassis. on this side. Okay. So, it's the, uh, steering as well as the suspension. A lot of times in Technic, whenever you put a piece on, it's good to check to make sure that everything still moves. You're not creating anything binding. That's what I do a lot when I add a few pieces, just make sure everything still moves. That goes there. So it looks like we're beginning to create a little fender area or a wheel well. And bevel gear on there. So this side's slightly different than the other side we just finished. Oops. There's the wheel well or fender for that side. Now we're gonna move this to the side so we have a little sub build. Looks like we're gonna begin making the back side of the cab.
13 long lift arm with four of these three long friction pins. Insert right here. this axle through and then we have the black bevel gear inside Four long axle goes in here with another black beveled gear. Okay. to the side. These tan pins have a half length pin on this side. And the reason they have that is they make thin lift arms and they are able to connect to those half length pins. in this lift arm. All right. So here's one of the thin lift arms. It's actually half the length of a normal lift arm. And you can see that it perfectly fits on those pins. side now.
Okay. Next we have a L-shaped beams that will tie these pieces all together. show this one on the instructions too well but got it figured out now we have six of these red pins with the axle hole on the end these will go here and you guys don't hear that, but the neighbors decided to start mowing the yard right in the middle of my video. So, I'm probably going to stop this here in a second or pause it. You guys won't know that it'll be stopped. All right, so those go there, and we push all of these in. That's that. <clears throat> getting pretty big now. I'll have to move the camera around a little bit to start to get this entire thing in the picture. But there we, there we go so far. Alright, so now that we've got bulk of this part done, we have a couple Lego element, our standard Lego element pieces. Some round bricks, anti-tile, plate, put axle through it with a bushing, and we're going to make two of those. both go in so, what I forgot is there's supposed to be a bevel gear right in there and then it slides in Let's do the same on this side Dropped it. Where to go? All right. So we slide this bevel gear in and slide the axle through it. So that creates that element that turns. Wait a minute. I messed that up. So, bevel gear on this one is actually supposed to be on the top side. Pull this up a bit. We're supposed to have a black gear in there. This side, pull it up a little bit, and we put a bushing in here. Right. So that 
when we turn these at the top, controls our steering. And it doesn't matter which one you turn, they both control the steering. So that's pretty cool. <coughs> Next. These guys, not there, not there. Almost done with the parts. Here's all the parts left from bags one. So we're getting pretty close to finishing this portion. Here, so we put this right in the middle. We we'll slide one of these dark tan axles with a stop in there. That holds that together. Repeat that on this side. Okay, so that's all good. some of these round bricks. One more, and we have a plate that goes on the top with one more plate, axle joiner. Three long axle. And this attaches right here. And there's an axle sticking out up here that connects to. So there's our exhaust pipe that goes up. And now we have last step. So these these few pieces are the extras from bags number one. But the last step is to grab one of these hoses and attach it. Actually not really attach it to anything, but we're gonna kind of thread it through a portion of the framework. <clears throat> so, we need to find the right one. There's so many different lengths, and this blue one is the one that we need. It's the 224 millimeter length hose or eight and a half inch long hose. So what we're going to do is back here, you can see this has a, one of these little pieces that has a, a pinhole and this one over here doesn't have one of those. What we're going to do is thread this hose through that element and then up and over and through this element right here. And just leave it like that. So when we start building the rest of the model, it's gonna be hard to get these hoses through those. So they more or less had us put them on right now. So we don't have to worry about trying to thread it through the rest of the framework that's gonna be there. So that completes bags number one. So let's go ahead and open up bags two and begin that portion. All right, so we have bags two separated and there was only two bag number twos. So that was kind of interesting. 
We don't get many of those. There was quite a few bags of one. So the first thing we're going to start off with this large molded housing that this gear is going to slide through and let's see I had it the wrong way so it slides in this way and once it's in we're going to insert one of these red too long axles that's what keeps it from coming out once it's in there Two of these black thin lift arms with a little Technic pin with an axle on the end. That goes there. Four long axle with a stop on the end. We're going to put a bushing on the end. Zoom in a bit so you can see what's up. So we push this through the bottom of these two thin lift arms because they have axle holes on the one side. Once that's in there, we'll attach one of these. with a small gear on it. Slide that through there. like that. That goes in there. As you can see it goes up and down. We're going to use our first sticker. And these stickers are numbered. And it is sticker numbered two. the side of this left arm. Just a little warning stripe of some sort. Next we have a warm gear that will go in between these two. Slide that through with a gear at the top. So that's what moves that piece. I'm trying to drop something. This slides on the bottom of this left arm. We'll slide the axle through and it will hook this on just like that.
the last portion of this sub build right here. So that's basically one of the outriggers that we've created. So now we're going to put that one to side because we have another one to make. And it should be very similar, just kind of the mirrored copy of it. There may be some variations. So that goes all the way through there. Start off with the last step that we did on the previous one, which is kind of interesting. So that goes there. Now we have two of the thin lift arms. remember the previous steps you can kind of see where we're getting with this basically doing the same thing with this little outrigger and the little foot portion of it that'll touch the ground gear on the top. the difference we have these two pieces are going to join together just like that so we've kind of created this module now we're going to create two of these pieces there's a one-to-one -one diagram in the instruction book that tells you where to line this up. It's really just one, one length of spacing. Alright. So what these do is slide all the way through this portion. We attach another one of these at the end. all the way through, slide another one on, so we're going to, instructions show it slid all the way out, and we're going to insert 
four of these three long friction pins. same thing. begin a gearbox. There's a lot of gears in bag number two. So we're going to create a pretty large section of the gearbox right now. out here and one more that goes there this whole gearbox now slides right over this portion like that side. It's opposite hand though. So it slides through here, connects to that bottom piece. All good there. Now we have four more of these thin lift arms. instructions. 
and show these slid all the way in. And another gear. This piece, turn it around. This slides through there. Couple more gears. This one goes here. there. Now we have our pump. So we take the pump, attach a little brick built camshaft or crankshaft. shows the, the hose opening towards the bottom right here. So make sure you put that on right. Now we'll put the other half bushing on. So you can see how that creates the pumping action. done with this portion of the build. Appreciate you guys sticking with me. There, I skip four. That one goes there. All right. Move this to the side for a second. We have another little sub build to do. Our little 
clutch gears. There, were they pushing? Skip the hole, that one goes in there. We have a black beveled gear. Let me skip another hole. The tan beveled gear. gear and a gray gear all right now an eight long axle with a gear there's a one-to-one -one picture in the instructions kind of show you how to line it up Axles falling out. Let's see if this will help keep them from falling out. Not really. All right. So now we're gonna put a lot of these red gears on here. here and another red one there pushing we have our clutch gear ton of gears going on this little gearbox to the three long this whole piece and slide it on right there so that's a massive gearbox so that's why bag number two only had so many pieces because we were basically just building this enormous gearbox all right so we have a few large pieces to put on. This will help hold on the whole thing. Except that's not lining up just right. Something's not right. Do I have that shifted over? Yeah. Alright. Pull 
this off for a second. I think I have these over one. this enormous gearbox right here. There's a lot of connection points. Let's hope they all line up right. in there. Slide that in, slide that in. We'll pull this hose over and attach it to the pump. So there we go. That completes bag number two and part three of our build. So um, we're going to stop it right here. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the next part by subscribing or checking out all my other videos and we will see you tomorrow.